Yo, what's up everybody? I hope this video finds you well. Hope everybody's doing great. We're gonna be reviewing a fragrance by Rochas. This is Mustache. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it, roll my intro. All right, so I wanna thank everybody for stopping by, checking out another video. Uh, this channel wouldn't be anything without you guys, so I definitely appreciate you. Uh, we're almost at 500 subs, so uh, let's continue the channel growth. All right, so uh, this is Rochas. This is Rochas, uh, a company that makes a fragrance called Mustache. Uh, this is a at a parfum concentration. You get a nice cap here with the logo on it. So. This video here, what I'm gonna be talking about, this is gonna be a battle video. This is a review of Mustache, but I'm gonna be battling it with a fragrance that a lot of people uh, seem to think that is very similar to. So we're gonna be getting into that today as well. So let's go ahead and get it started. Now let's go ahead and talk about the notes of Mustache. Now Mustache opens up with uh, top notes of pink pepper, mandarin orange, Atlas Cedar, Bulgarian Rose, Benzoin, Vanilla, and Patchouli. Now for me, this fragrance opens up a little bit different than Tuxedo. It's not, you know, 100% similar. Uh, on skin, this fragrance uh, smells sort of like Valentino Womo Intense or something like a, you know, some one of those Dior type fragrances. Dior Ohm Intense. Uh, kind of gives me that because it smells like there's like a leather note and you pick that up when you're smelling it up close up skin now when in the air you get a little now in the air you get a blend of that as well uh but that blend is also including the dna of ysl's tuxedo now the tuxedo fragrance is it's not 100 percent similar it's like you know it's getting there but it's not you know like you know 95 90 you know to 100 percent similar anything it's not nothing like that uh so it's, it kind of carries that leather and then that that the the woody dna that's in this fragrance you get that atlas cedar for sure so it's kind of giving you a a different feel with the opening so this fragrance opens up a little bit differently you get some the mandarin orange uh you do get the vanilla for sure so it opens up sweet and there's a slight boozy element however in the dry down which takes about maybe 20 to 20 to 30 minutes to get there once the fragrance arrives at that point, then it starts to meld, and become very close to tuxedo, very close. And uh, in the air, it smells basically as the same as it does on skin. Now, I want to say that uh, now once it, you know, you basically get a vanilla note, you get the booziness with the fragrance with uh, mustache and you get some of the ambery uh, type of notes. A lot of the that you know dr ohm intense or the uh, valentino one intense dna that i was picking up personally is not there now for tuxedo let's go ahead and talk about that so what do you get with tuxedo now tuxedo opens up with violet leaf coriander bergamot you get rose in the middle notes black pepper and lily of the valley and in the heart in the base notes you get patchouli ambergris and bourbon vanilla now this one opens up nice and boozy you get some uh sweetness you get the booziness from the vanilla you get the sweetness from the amber and the vanilla you get the uh smoothest smoothness and the fragrance from the ambergris you get the citrus from that uh bergamot this fragrance opens up very nice and it's a little bit better than the opening that you get in mustache personally for me you get some of the uh, patchouli but it's not like a medicinal patchouli it's kind of a, i wouldn't say dirty but it's a little earthy um if that makes any sense a little earthy um but it's very wearable um however if you really just don't like the note of patchouli you might not want to uh bother too much with uh tuxedo uh, but it smells good to me uh, personally now you get a little bit of the spice from the coriander but and it just kind of like rounds out the fragrance now when it dries down you get that amber the vanilla the booziness and a light patchouli uh note and that fragrance just mellows out to be a, you know an awesome fragrance so they're a little bit different you know but they mellow out to be basically the same scent uh on in the dry down now 
As far as, let's go ahead and talk about the performance of these two fragrances, Mustache and Tuxedo. Neither one of these um, last that long. And just just for kicks and giggles, uh, I was able to test both of these fragrances uh, the same day. That should let you know that neither one of them last that long. Now, I wanna say Tuxedo does last a little bit longer. I get about six hours of longevity with Tuxedo. And then with uh, mustache I get about about four to five hours personally on my skin uh, as far as projection goes with uh, mustache uh, projection you're getting about an hour to an hour and a half of a uh, decent projection is not like you know anything past arm's length or even elbow length for that matter mustache for me it sits very close to the skin even closer than YSL's tuxedo uh, let's go ahead and talk about the projection of YSL tuxedo you get about a little bit close to two hours of projection with that fragrance and it, when it recedes closer to skin uh, with tuxedo it doesn't stick as close to skin um, and it's a little bit more noticeable uh, throughout the life of the fragrance however when mustache your your you're heart press you're gonna have to like really search for that fragrance sometimes and um, Tuxedo, when it does dry down, it kind of heats up sometimes uh, with movement and just it was just body, you know, movement. It heats up, so it does uh, uh, liven up a little bit. Um, so you're like, oh, there it is. But with mustache, you gotta you gotta search for it. And with my wife, I had to ask her if she could smell it. She had to get basically somewhere around here just to smell the fragrance. But the fragrance was still there, even past that four to five hour mark. But to me, you know, I want to enjoy the fragrance as well. I, it's not that you're going nose blind to mustache. You just it's just dying down to that close of a skin scent that you're just not able to uh, enjoy it. Now, as far as character, neither one of these fragrances are doing a lot. They're very uh, mainstream type of scents. None of them are doing anything challenging. However, I believe mustache has a little bit more character because with the opening, it has a little bit more personality as it's doing a little bit more differently. Um, whereas Tuxedo is a, it's a little bit more linear. Um, even though I did, did mention some different notes, uh, such as the coriander and some of the other different notes that might be there in the beginning of the fragrance, it's pretty much the same throughout the life of the fragrance. Uh, mustache, it doesn't last all that long as far as the opening. Um, but you get a little bit more variance with the fragrance uh, than what you do get with Tuxedo. Now again, appeal. This is both of these are mass appealing scents. They will appeal to anybody. Nobody. I don't think many people will dislike their fragrances. They're not too sweet. They're not too animalic. They're not too woody. They're a little bit boozy. So if you don't like boozy scents, then you might not like uh, these fragrances. Um, if you don't like patchouli, you might not like these fragrances. But uh, with that said, these are, to me, I believe these are very mass appealing scents. I believe this scent is unisex, but it does lean um, masculine to me. I believe this fragrance is, uh, as far as mustache is concerned, uh, and that goes that goes for uh, both most mustache and uh, tuxedo. I believe they're, uh, they lean masculine, even though they're uh, unisex. Now, as far as seasons are concerned, I believe mustache uh, might be just because of the opening. Um, even though the opening doesn't last that long, it might be a little bit more suited for the fall uh, weather than the summer. Um, I believe tuxedo might be because the, the bergamot note that's in that opening, I believe it has a little bit more slightly a little bit more freshness uh, than what you get with mustache, just slightly not and you know to be honest you might just want to wear these fragrances uh year round if you would like um uh, just you might want to wear both of them in temperature controlled environments if you know my if you watch my channel i do say that a lot but i believe in wearing fragrances you know anytime because there's there's just certain fragrances that just remind you of the fall and, and christmas time or like uh winter time those are the fragrances that you want to reserve for those times of the year for me personally occasion i believe these are all you know all around type of fragrances i believe you can wear this as a signature scent you can wear it formally you can wear it uh dressed down you can wear it to work you just 
just do it, you know, evening out, do it, do whatever you want with these fragrances. These are good for all of that. Now, value. There's just no competing with value with mustache. You get over four ounces of fragrance for like 37, 40 bucks for this thing. Like you're not paying that much for this bottle. This bottle is massive, man. Like you hit somebody, you know, in the head. You know, that's that's gonna do some damage. And, and you know, there's a lot of juice in this thing. Not that you, you know, you shouldn't be hitting nobody in the head. Don't, don't, don't do that, guys. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you're just not gonna compete with the value that you get with a uh, mustache. You get a lot of fragrance, you're paying a lot less. So you're probably gonna get a 75 uh, fluid ounce bottle of uh, tuxedo for around 170, 180, I believe. And you can divide that, what is 170, 180 divided by 40. So that's about at least four bottles of this fragrance four freaking bottles this and you get four ounces you just can't compete with the with the, the 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 value however you know everybody's pockets are different and you might just want to go ahead and grab tuxedo because tuxedo does you know it's you know mustache is not a hundred percent clone or a hundred percent match because of the opening so if you want that opening that you get with tuxedo then you might just want to go and get tuxedo but it's not that big of a difference where you're gonna say like you have to get tuxedo over mustache for me personally so overall you know even though both of these scents don't really last that long um they're very good smelling scents like you're not going to go wrong with either one of them um they're not doing a lot different you know do anything game changing as far as the fragrance industry is concerned they're designer style fragrances they are designer houses however I'm going to say, even though this fragrance is very popular, Tuxedo, um, I don't smell it on that many people. So if you do spray it on, I think you're still going to smell different than most people. And that's if you get mustache as well. You can't beat the value that you get with mustache. It awards your pockets. You, you basically get your money back times four, at least when you buy uh, mustache over Tuxedo. So I'm not going to judge mustache on its uh similarity to tuxedo so i'm gonna i'm just gonna judge it on a scent profile alone um you're getting a great bottle you're getting a great scent and because of those reasons i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten and just for kicks and giggles i'm gonna give tuxedo a 8.5 out of 10. all right guys so that's been the review of mustache by rochas and a battle video as well so i hope this helps you guys out in any way uh anybody that's been trying to decide between the two fragrances um per for me personally i'm just going to stick with mustache i'm not going to even think about getting a tuxedo i held on to my uh sample for a while it's gone now during the testing of this video it's basically gone so i'm just going to stick with uh this bottle all right, guys, I hope all is well. I appreciate you guys for watching this video again. Until next time, I'm signing off soon.